When I'm not out on the water producing fishing videos, I love to cook. It's tuna time, so let's make some tuna capaccio or seared tuna. A couple quick little ingredients. There's uh, some sesame seed oil. My favorite little spice is a little uh, Penzi's fajita seasoning and some uh, grilled or, or actually toasted sesame seeds. Uh, about half, about a ta big tablespoon of each. So that's, that's what's going to be our, uh, our seasoning. We're just going to mix these two together. Mix them up real nice. Put them on the plate here. Mix it up real good. It's about a 50-50 ratio of each. And now you're going to take a little bit of uh, sesame oil and rub it on the fish. And that's going to allow the coating of our seasoning to stick. So a little bit of sesame seed oil on both sides. Okay. And now we're just going to make sure we get all the areas of the tuna. Make sure there's no dry spots. And now it's time for the searing process. One of the most important factors to getting a good seared or a good tuna capaccio is to have a cast iron pan. You want that pan good and hot. You want that on high heat for at least 20 minutes. All right, let's start the searing process. Here we go. I'm going to put it right down on the pan there. And there it is. You can see the smoke coming off of it. And it's only going to need about a minute on each side. Now, as soon as you see the white form right on the bottom, about an eighth of an inch, you know it's time to flip it. So let's flip our tuna and get the other side. You can see that nice little white edge. That's how you know it's time to flip it. One more minute and we are done. In the meantime, we'll make a little room here. I'll get our plate ready. I'm going to cut our tuna right there. I can see the white line on the bottom and the white line on the top. This tuna is ready to be served. So let's take the tuna. Get a nice sharp knife. And we're just gonna, you, you, want it, you want the knife to be super sharp. You get it started and you're just gonna push down and cut your tuna. Look at that. Look at that great color. Look at that. Look how great that looks. Okay, so let's take this and get this ready to serve. We're going to take our tuna, put it right here on the plate. Now, one of the things I like to do is add a little fresh ginger, some wasabi, and some wasabi sauce, and just kind of drizzle it on top and just to give it that extra bonus. There you go. Tuna capaccio in two minutes. I'm Tim C. Smith for thefisherman.com.